welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I like to make lifestyle, beauty, and fitness related videos. Today's video is going to be a part two to the last video I did, which is a what's in my gym bag video. I've been so obsessed with watching those kind of videos lately. And I'll put in the cards a link so you can go watch that if you wanna check it out. And then today's video, we are going to do what is in my gym makeup bag. And this bag is from Target. It is Sonia Kashuk brand. I highly recommend that brand if you're looking for a makeup bag that isn't going to break the bank. This is a very soft velvet, which I also am obsessed with. I love the velvet trend that's going right now, and I hope it never goes out of style. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. In the front pocket here, this is where I keep my makeup brushes, my eyeliner, and extra mascara. So I'll pull those out, we can take a look. Now this might seem a little excessive. I have quite a few brushes here. I have a large face brush. This is from Mary Kay. I sold Mary Kay last year and so this was an extra that I had. Then I have a smaller brush that I use for blush. This is from Lorac. It was from a Christmas special they did. Thanks, Amanda. Um, and then I also have a MAC brush, also a Christmas present. I see a trend here. This brush is double-sided, and so I use one side for blush and the second side for bronzer. Then I have a small variation of different eyeshadow brushes. I use a Wet n Wild brush for blending, and then I have a Target brand. I think it is it Up and Up they do, um, just for regular eyeshadow on the lid. I also use these e.l.f. brushes. This is a large crease brush. And then I have a smaller crease brush for darker colors. And this brush I use for blending out like darker eyeshadow, kind of like as an eyeliner to smudge it around. So those are my brushes. Then I have this collection of eyeliner and mascara. When I'm almost out of an eyeliner that I like, I stick it in this bag because I don't use this makeup really that often. I live close to the gym. Um, I use it kind of as a worst case scenario, made plans like while I was out and couldn't get home to change. So I put in, because I go through these so much, Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. And so there's one and um, two. I have another one. I think I even had two of those in my empties video I did last summer. And uh, anyway, so if those are running out, because those kind of, I kind of use till the very end. If those are running out, I will go over them with this NYX Epic Ink Liner that I mentioned in um, the, one of the videos I did previously. I'll put that in the cards too. I had filmed a video, oh my gosh, it was back in October, and I didn't get it up until January because we moved, I quit my job, oh, and it was Christmas. That was a crazy time in life, I'll just let you know that. I also carry a lip liner, another one I got from Mary Kay. This one is like um, a pale pink color, so I'll have just an extra of that. I have a Marc Jacobs eyeliner, this one's better for smudging and I think I got it in like a Sephora bag or something. Then I have, of course, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, my ride or die mascara right now. I have repurchased this at least three, maybe four times. So that's what I keep in the front pocket. Oh, and some tweezers too. You never know when you're gonna need some tweezers. Now on to the main compartment of this bag. This is what it looks like with all my stuff in it. It has these really nice dividers on the sides. So there's three on one side and then there's two on another side. And I love dividers, I love organizers. I just love all things organization. So let's go through here. I have an extra toothbrush for when you wanna feel a little minty clean freshness, but there's no toothpaste in here. So I need to add that, um, have one of those around. I also keep an extra Real Techniques sponge for applying foundation. As far as foundation goes in my makeup bag, I like to keep a CC cream. The IT Cosmetics CC cream is the best. It's not the most full coverage, and right now I have a few acne spots. When I do my makeup, I have to like do a little extra to cover them up. So I keep in here also some Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I have shade 10 and 15. Oddly enough, I don't know if you feel the same way, Shade 15 is lighter than shade 10, which I thought it would be the other way around. But So I'll keep those both, one for under the eyes and then one for any acne spots that I have that I want to cover up. I also, for eyeshadow, chose this Milani palette. It has a good range of dark to light and some shimmers. It's 
fairly, it's a pretty good product for as far as drugstore eyeshadow goes. Um, there's some better ones that I have, but I like using those daily, so I put those on my makeup vanity instead of in here. And then, I guess I should have done this in order of how you apply your makeup, but it's kind of going in order of what I pull out of the bag. So next, I have Milani Prime Perfection. I mentioned this in my last makeup related video that I did, and I actually switched um, primers to a Neutrogena primer, and now I'm looking for a less toxic um, primer if you have any suggestions but this one it is a pretty good primer it's not it's not the best I found much better um, but as far as drugstore goes this was a good one and it was an extra so I threw that in here so that I didn't have to go buy more makeup to put in a bag that I hardly use so um, also mentioned in my last makeup video I have this shimmery highlight from Essence it's the pure nude highlighter after using it for a while longer I I just find it was too difficult to get as much highlighter as I wanted on a daily basis. You kind of have to work at it. So I stuck it in here thinking like, well, if I just need a little bit after I go to the gym just to feel at least decent, then I will still get use out of this and I'm not going to waste the product. So I put that in here. And then <laughs> I think I did this one just for fun in case I happen to make um, spur of the moment plans, which I guess that doesn't really happen as much anymore. I feel like I'm getting old. Um, anyways, I have this MAC eyeshadow, and it's uh, a loose powder. The color is tan, but it's a gorgeous rose gold color, and it is a really nice pop of like a soft pink, if you will, um, in on your lid. I also carry a moisturizer. After I wipe my face down with a makeup remover, after the gym, I get all the sweat off my face, then my face just feels so dry, and so I like to use the Body Shop uh, vitamin E moisture cream and this one smells really good I love that it's a little small pot and it seems to last a very long time so I really like that moisturizer Ooh, this is yum lavender lip care um, coconut oil beeswax and lavender essential oil chapstick sorry couldn't think of the word um, but this is a chapstick it is by circlecreekhome.com it is handmade and I was looking for a better quality product as far as uh, chapstick goes because I know some chapsticks are created to make you need more. I don't understand the whole process, but I know that I wanted a more honest product, so I picked this one. And then some of the better primers you can get at like Sephora and whatnot. I have a leftover Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It was like a sample I had. And then I also had a little professional primer by The Benefit. I love this primer. Um, it's really good on my nose. I have larger pores. So that one I'll keep just the little bit that's left in that um, in this bag. And then the last thing that I keep in this bag is a cream eyeshadow. This one is by Mary Kay. And it's a soft pink. And if I wanted just like a, a natural looking color to make a really simple like just throw it on your eyes and leave look then this is actually the the formula I would go for because it's a little tacky um, and it's easy to apply because of that and you can just use your finger you don't even need a brush and so you can get cream eye colors I mean from a lot of brands this is just one I happen to have from when I was selling Mary Kay so I'm trying to use up all my products before I toss them so that was everything I keep in my gym makeup bag I hope you like this video it was a bit random but like I said I'm trying to use up everything that I have purchased so a good place for that for me ends up being in my gym makeup bag I don't use this that often but like I said when you have somewhere to go afterwards it's nice to be able to just touch up and feel like you're not this hot fire mess of a workout person if you did like this video if you could give it a thumbs up that would really help support my channel and don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos if you have ideas of what kind of videos you'd like to see let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you keep in your makeup bag for your gym bag do you have a makeup bag in your gym bag um, and what kind of products would you put in there I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video bye